Mother Teresa was once quoted as saying, to me, God and compassion are one and the same. Well, that's a statement that has served to inspire one Scottsdale charity to bring compassion and hope, as well as the basic necessities of life, to some orphans that live along Mexico's border towns. It's called Rancho Feliz, Happy Ranch. This grassroots organization is looking to you now for assistance, and you can help out by hopping aboard a train this weekend. That's right, a train. It's a unique fundraiser, and here to tell us all about it is the co-founder of Rancho Feliz, Gil Gillenwater. Glad you could join us, Gil. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Now, you were telling me that the orphans in Mexico are different from children that are orphaned here, in that they oftentimes have a family. Right. In Mexico, the families are large. Birth control isn't as prevalent down there. And we have eight or nine children a lot of times, and the parents simply can't afford them in the barrios. We're talking towns like Agua Prieta, where you know, Douglas has 14,000 people. Agua Prieta has 80,000 people. So how many orphans are there in some of these towns? There's untold numbers. And what has happened is there's no, really no government sponsorship. These are private individuals that take these children in off the streets. Mm -hmm. And what we do is provide the financing for them to, to build the necessities. I'm talking about simple things like indoor plumbing, where 26 children don't have to go in a two-hole outhouse. They mm -hmm. can have indoor plumbing and showers, dormitories, heat in the winter, things like this. That's what we finance. Now you've been around since 1987. That's when we started, yes. I see. And the fundraiser that's coming up, can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's going to be great. It's Sunday. It's going to be on the Verde River Canyon Railroad. And we've hired the entire train. There'll be about 250 people. And we're going to leave about noon and get up and have a great big western style catered barbecue on the banks of the Verde River and then we'll be back about six o'clock. It's a beautiful ride, and we've gotten all the cost underwritten, so every dollar, a ticket is $65, and uh, every dollar goes right to the orphanages. Now, there's a story behind this train ride, though. You've kind of got a plan, don't you? Well, yes, <laughs> yes. We, uh, we say that the, we're, we're taking ore. Gold ore was discovered in Jerome, and we're taking right. a, the just payload. Just a while ago. I just bet people out there ago. didn't even know it's that. It's pretty unique, yeah. <laughs> And there are some desperados and Indians and, and some things up in the canyons that we have to be wary of. And so you're riding shotgun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. does that mean that the, what does that exactly mean for people that aren't familiar with the Western legends? It means that we're guarding the payload up the canyon because we don't want any desperados to jump the train. So I'll just leave it at that. Okay. And we're going to put up some information in a moment for people that are interested in riding the train. But can you tell us how much it costs? And oh, here it is. Specifics. It's this Sunday. And they can call 9 Four nine seven one four four for more information. And I assume you still have uh, positions on the train. We do. Open. We have about 30 seats remaining, and everything's been paid for. So we'd really like to f uh, fill those seats. It's going to be a fun day. Okay, let's talk about what specifically the money will go toward. How much are you hoping to raise? We're we're shooting for twenty thousand dollars, and that's net. And we've raised about fifteen thousand so far, which we're Great. real proud of. And, and the, for the kids, what will you do yes. specifically? Well, in this organization, we have no salaries, we have no administration fees or anything. The money goes one hundred percent directly to building a dormitory in Naco, which is what we're working on, that'll house thirty children, bringing utilities. And I'm talking just gas and, and heat and electricity and water to um, an orphanage in. Cananea, mm -hmm. and then Agua Prieta. We're continuing. We're going to get some washing machines and things down there for them. Great. Well, good luck to you, Gail. Thank you very much. Very I appreciate worthwhile it. cost. We think so. Mike?